I need some new places to shop. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So you know when you see me in my pajamas and you see the tea, and you guys, my hair is a mess, so I wrapped it up. <laughs> I tried to wrap it up as cute as I possibly could. You know that when I am this relaxed, what kind of video we are going to have. Somebody actually brought to my attention two videos ago about not wanting to shop fast fashion. And I've actually said before that I wanted to start investing in quality pieces that are going to last me a lifetime. And while that is still my plan, if you watch this video, you know that I have been on a weight loss journey. You also know why I'm not talking about my weight loss journey. If you want to know what that's about, go check out that video. But because I have lost weight and I'm losing weight, my size changes month to month. I have very much been looking at fast fashion brands in an effort not to spend money on things that I might not be able to fit later on. Since that has been my focus, I have been bringing that to you all. I did not realize or I didn't think to think about those of you who are not in my situation and would love to have some nice quality pieces or just want a different place to shop other than Zara and Mango, even though I love Zara H&M and Mango, right? So what I've done was kind of compile a small list of places that people have suggested. I've seen some of these places on TikTok, y'all. Some of these places still do look very fast fashion-y and some of them are a higher quality, which means a higher price tag. I have not looked all the way through all of these websites, but we're gonna kind of look together we're gonna chill and see what we can find. Hopefully, we find some good things and this video is not a bust, but I'm sure we'll find a few things at the very least. So the first place that I wanna look at is Oak and & Fort. And while I have looked and shopped and browsed at Oak & Fort before, I don't think I've ever bought anything. But I recently saw somebody talking about it again on TikTok and I thought that we can explore what they have together. I actually heard that Oak and & Fort and the Frankie shop are somehow connected. I don't know if somebody used to work at Oak and Ford and they split off something like that I'm not completely sure however if that is true I definitely can see the influence they have a very similar vibe to the Frankie shop the first thing that I see right off the bat are these shoes they're very comparable to the Attico version except for these are $40 so I'm assuming that this is a fancy fast fashion brand if you're not new here you know that I love a satin skirt a silk I have on silk pajamas right now. Um, I love a satin uh, dress. Anything that's flowy and soft, that's totally my vibe. I love this dress. I love this color. It looks very similar to a whole outfit that I saw at Banana Republic that is in my cart right now. If that Banana Republic price is too expensive, but you love the look, I feel like this is a good option. These sheer pants paired with this blazer is such a vibe to me. I don't know how much that could translate to the cooler months. Maybe wear some high boots or maybe some tights underneath it, I don't know. But I just love the look of this, so this is cute. And then again, I love a flowy look. This whole look could be the basis of so many things. You could wear it with sneakers to dress it down, have a more cool look. You could wear it with heels or sandals. I think this is a great find. Listen, this whole thing is absolutely gorgeous. That color won't be the best color on me, but I think it's so gorgeous. I know that we are in the middle of summer, but I feel like this vest can be styled very nicely. So these prices are telling me that this is still a fast fashion type of brand. Maybe not as fast as Zara. If you know anything about the production of Zara, they get clothes in and out within a month. It's kind of a crazy model, a business model, but that's besides the point. But it is a different place to shop other than Zara. They have this 100% linen shirt, which is another one of my favorites. And then I'm seeing this beautiful blazer. I love an oversized blazer. And yeah, you guys, this is giving me very much Frankie shop and Zara and Mango. It's a very similar vibe. It just seems like a different place to shop other than those places that we always go. Okay, so Pixie Market is not new. It's a place that I've shopped before. I've told you guys that I have been many sizes. <laughs> so when I was smaller, I did shop at Pixie Market. 
Pixie market tends to stop at a size medium, which is interesting since the average woman in America is like a 14 or 16 or something like that. So be wary of whatever you're buying from here. But they do have some cute things if that's not a problem for you. This top I've seen on many people and I think it's so good, especially um, thrown on with the blazer because it's a mix of androgynous but also sexy. I love this top. I love this top. These baggy leather jogging pants, amazing. I know it's the middle of the summer, but you should be planning ahead. This strapless bustier is fabulous. I love how they pair them with these loose pants. There's so much that could be done with this. I think it's a very pretty like straight line and classic and classy. I just love this look. We've all seen this top as a cake dupe and some people really, really love it. And if you are more of the type of girl who loves dresses, they have that too. I think this is a fabulous option. When I was really on my denim kick <laughs> a few months ago, I was looking at this Alexander Wang denim jacket with shoulder pads. I know that's not everybody's thing, but I thought it was very trendy, very fashion-y. It was also very expensive. Pixie Market has something that's much cheaper and a very, very similar vibe. That top that I think is beautiful also comes in a dress. This is fabulous. I love it. I love it so much. She even styled it with an oversized blazer, like I was saying. So yeah, Pixie Market is a cute place to shop. There are a few things to choose from, but the things that they have is very trendy, very on style, and they also have some really classic pieces. I do want to talk about Spanx very quickly. I've talked about them many times before, but I don't know that people realize that they have some really good clothing options. It's not just for undergarments, right? They have these jeans, which are beautiful. I love that they flare out. They have wide leg jeans. They have these straight leg jeans that I have and love because they are Spanx. Technology, I guess, that they have in these pants flattens out your tummy. And I think that is genius. It's not uncomfortable. They are not cheap, but I absolutely love my jeans so much. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. They also have this whole suit. They have these beautiful black pants with the flare and the jacket to match. Beautiful. Go check out Spanx. There are a few things that I really love. This outfit is the skirt. <laughs> I can't see the shoes. I couldn't find a picture with her or what shoes she has on, but I can tell you this outfit is... So let's move on to Sandro. If you are already in the position where you want to start investing in nicer clothes, Sandro has some really good options. I'm kind of weeding through the website right now. There are a few things that are on sale that would be a great addition to your wardrobe. This short lace-up dress is a beautiful option and is 50% off. Now you might not be able to wear it, you know, every season, but when you get a nice quality piece, you can wear it season after season after season, even though you can't wear it fall, winter, summer, and spring. You know what I mean? This leather tote is not on sale, but I have been looking at it for probably years. It's a great alternative to say the Dior tote. I think this is just brilliant. It comes in different colors. If you're looking for a quality tote that's not thousands of dollars, I think it's a fabulous option. This, which is not on sale, but this whole brown satin number, I mean, it's fabulous. Again, if you are in the position where you want to start investing in clothing, I feel like if it's your style, this is it. This would look so good on so many people. This cropped houndstooth jacket could be styled several ways. It could be very Charlotte from Sex and the City, right? Worn with a flare skirt and flats. Or it can be paired with a pair of baggy jeans and some platforms and some really cool sunglasses. Either way, this style also can be found in other places. So if you don't want to spend this much money on Sandro, I understand. But keep an eye out for different pieces that can be styled in different ways. A lot of times we kind of put certain, certain pieces in certain categories when this jacket can be worn with many different styles. A really good example of the jacket from Sandro, the same style, are these jackets from Urban Revival. I've talked about Urban Revival before with this gorgeous dress and this gorgeous dress. But if you want that look, but for a cheaper price, all of these look very similar and are all under a hundred dollars. So this is another brand that is not cheap, but this jacket is worth every penny. In my opinion, I love black and white and gold or silver together. It's just so 
classics. A knit cardigan is a lot more than what you get at Mango or what you would spend at, you know, Zara. But if this is your style, you will wear this forever and ever and ever. This lace maxi dress is beautiful. And this coat, this coat is what dreams are made of. <laughs> I would totally wear this several different ways. One, very dressy with a dress or heels or whatever, but on a regular day, like a regular cold New York day, wear this with some sneakers, my Yankee hat, a clutch, and it gives a beautiful juxtaposition between this very dressy, prissy jacket and things that are deemed a little more masculine. And I think it would look so good. Steep price, but if you are willing and ready to put money into your wardrobe, that is a beautiful option. Endless Rose is a place that I've heard people talk about um, as a good place to get dresses from, which is funny enough because what I'm looking at right now are not dresses. <laughs> the dresses were pretty. Like this one is a very pretty, frilly kind of dress. It's kind of giving me Love Shack fancy, right? But the real things that were the heroes, in my opinion, were things like this beautiful blazer, this sequent romper, and this collared dress. But that just probably means that that's just because that's my style. I told you guys before, they're like a modern kind of clean line style. If you're the kind of person who loves those type of dresses, that love the Love Shack fancy type of dress, but for much cheaper, Endless Row seems to have some really beautiful options. Lewis and Melly is another place that I have never seen before, but, but it was a suggestion, so I went to go check it out, or I'm checking it out now. And the things that really stick out to me are these type of linen outfits. I feel like this is just has been my go-to. Linen pants and linen shorts and linen tops. And I've told you guys this many times. But I love this green color. I love this pink color. This navy blue one I've never seen in this color. And I think it's so rich. Paired with some nice silver jewelry. Oh, chef's kiss. These, what they're calling denim trousers, I feel like are very interesting. It has a shape and the flow of trousers, but the fabric of denim, love that. And then we have Lily's Closet. We're just gonna start off with these shoes. Not much to say, just check out these shoes, okay? But this is for the girl who loves color, but also doesn't want to spend too much and really doesn't want to shop at Zara. These two jumpsuits are fabulous, beautiful color. This denim jumpsuit is everything. This could even be worn into the fall with a jacket, a blazer, and some boots. However, I mean, there's so many ways to wear this. This little short set is so beautiful and cute and dainty. This dress is giving me big Love Shack fancy vibes. This website is definitely not expensive and you really have to love sexy, beautiful bright colors they have some really cute things on here i feel like this is a great alternative to zara and mango if you want to buy some things that don't look like everybody else <laughs> so i very briefly talked about this brand before and i love it because it's very trendy and also very modern this outfit is so cool it is so trendy so cool girl very laid back but also very put together if you love all this this is the website to go to this whole white number is a look i think this is fabulous if you watched this last video you know that i was talking about an outfit with some camo pants they have a plethora of camo pants on this website and they also have this pair that's not camo but it's very similar it's like a floral kind of print I think it's a really good um, alternative to camo pants if you want something that's a little softer I love the cut of this outfit I love the cut of the pants the bell sleeve on the top a very dainty very sexy and not showing anything at all I think this is a beautiful cut there are a lot of looks just like this if you have this style and you are the modern kind of cool girl, this is the website to go to. So I heard a lot about road as far as dresses are concerned, so let's see what we find. But this is looking like the website again that is not fast fashion. You're gonna spend a little more on these dresses. So if you're a person that loves dresses, this is your website. I'll say this blue linen dress stood out to me. This orange and pink number, very pretty. This black dress can be worn so many different ways. And this two-piece top and skirt is looking like a beautiful summer afternoon. I love this option as well. 
Really, you guys, that's it for now. I am on a mission to find different places to shop, different places to give you guys. I understand that the Zara's and the Mangos and the ASOS is retiring, right? I'm still gonna do that, because like I said, that's where I am right now as far as my weight loss is concerned. But I wanna give you other options and other places to shop. Anyway, you guys, let me know if you have any other places to shop. I like to have more options. What are your top three places that you frequent when you're looking for clothing and shoes and accessories? Let me know. Anyway, girl, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.